Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing another chatty get ready with me. And in today's video, I just kind of ramble about a bunch of different stuff. Thank you all so much for all of your lovely comments on my video from last week. And after reading all of your all's comments, I really feel like I'm on the same page as you guys. So make sure you click the bell to turn on your notifications. Since I don't have a set schedule anymore, that is just gonna let you know as soon as I post a new video so you won't miss any videos from me. But if you would like to get ready with me today and just listen to me chat and ramble, then just keep on watching. So I went ahead and did my skincare off camera. So I will link what I use down below. It's just my same stuff that I always use. And then I'm just gonna be priming my face today with the Believe Beauty Pretty and Prime Stay Put Makeup Primer. I don't really know if this primer helps my foundations to last longer, but it does help foundation to go on a little bit more smooth and it does like hydrate my face just a little bit more. And then for my lips, I'm just gonna use my Fresh Sugar Lemon Hydrating Lip Balm. just to moisturize my lips. And today I was debating on what foundation I want to wear, but I think I'm gonna use my Flower Beauty Light Illusion. It's been a while since I have used this. At least, well, it's probably been a while since I've used it on camera, but it's definitely been a hot minute since I've used it, you know, just in everyday life. So, and I think this shade will match me right now. I don't know, that's the one thing about this foundation and I've talked to you guys about this before, but I feel like the shade range that they have is not the best. Definitely could be a little bit better. Like this color is a little bit, I guess kind of orange. Has a little bit more of like an orangey undertone for me or like yellow, I don't know. To me it's more of like an orangey undertone. Um, but the shade I'm using is Porcelain L1. And I'm just blending that out with my Wet n Wild makeup sponge. But this week has been a really good week. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your comments on my last Get Ready With Me video. My video, you know, coming back, like, where I've been. And just really meant a lot to me to know that a lot of you guys missed me and were wondering where I was at <laughs> and but you all also understood you know that I need to take some time for myself and just you know not feel so stressed out to feel like I have to produce like a ton of videos all the time or just like just so I don't feel pressured. I'm glad that a lot of you guys understood and understood that I was like getting a little bit burnt out um, but I will say like after reading all of your all's comments and everything that it did make me feel a little bit more like inspired and energized to film. I don't know. I haven't really thought of any new ideas necessarily, but I just feel like getting back into my groove of filming and I've been thinking about what day is going to be best for me to film or like what days on the weekend like for instance on Saturdays I've been like you know whenever I wake up and I wake up like really early I'm like a hardcore <laughs> morning person like not on purpose it's just the way that I am but even on Saturdays I'll wake up by like six o'clock in the morning I know and I'll usually start to get laundry going and then just kind of like straighten up the house, like do dishes, um, you know, just kind of do like chores around the house like while Josh is still sleeping because he's not a morning person. <laughs> so I usually just let him sleep in. I like, you know, clean the fridge out and make my make our grocery list out of what to get for the week. Okay, and then for my under eye concealer, I think today I'm gonna switch it up and use one that I haven't used in a minute, the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is another one of my favorite under eye concealers. And I think this concealer pairs nice with that Light Illusion foundation. So, 
But yeah, so you know, I'll wake up early, do all that stuff, fix some coffee, and then just kind of wait for him to wake up. And then once he wakes up, then we've been going to the grocery, usually around nine o'clock, and then come back, put the groceries up. And then sometimes I'll go ahead and meal prep for the week. And then usually by that time, it's about one o'clock or so in the afternoon. And then it's kind of like, I feel like it's, which I know it's not too late in the day to film, but I guess like sometimes I think like it's too late to film now, which I know it's definitely not. Um, or I don't know. It's like, I need to figure it out because I think maybe what I might do on Saturdays is like after we get back from the grocery and I do my lunch prep and everything, then film a few videos in the afternoon because yesterday, like after we did all that stuff, then we, I just kind of wanted to relax for a little bit and I made some guacamole <laughs> and we had like guacamole and chips for lunch and I kind of ate like way too much of it. <laughs> That's a thing with me and like guacamole, like I will just overeat it. And I'm sure if any of you guys like guacamole, you're probably the same. Um, but yeah, so then after that, we just kind of like watched some TV. I fell asleep, like took a nap. And then whenever we woke up, I was like, oh, I kind of want to go for a walk or something to just like help my stomach feel better because I ate so much. Then for my powder, I'm just going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I've really been loving this powder lately. It's been so strange. It hasn't been strange, but it's so not like me to go a long period of time without using my L'Oreal True Match Powder. Because you guys know that that's like my Holy Grail powder. And it still is. But I've been really enjoying the diffused look that this powder has given my skin like that it gives my skin like it just gives it a soft glow and i've been more into like a glowy dewy look recently which i'm always into that look but sometimes i am more into it than at other times um but yeah so we went to the gym i walked for like an hour then we came back home and I made us some like blueberry muffins because like I have bought some blueberry muffin mix and I was like oh I can do that so I made us some muffins and then I was like oh we can watch a movie so we watched what did we watch I can't remember what the first movie was that we watched but anyhow we watched a few movies <laughs> I'm like getting old I can't remember anything and then, I don't know, then it was like getting pretty late in the evening. And then I just felt like I had an unproductive day, which I know that's not true because I did all that stuff in the morning. I want to use some of this for my under eye setting powder. Um, so, I mean, I know that that's not true, but then I felt like I should have filmed some videos or I should have done something. It's like, I'm the type of person that I feel like if I'm not, like, creating something or, I don't know, having, like, going and doing something, like, having an experience that I'm just wasting my day and I don't need to feel that way. Like, I need to feel like it's okay for me to just lay around and do nothing sometimes you know sometimes we i need to be able to do that and not feel like guilty or like i wasted my day you know i don't know i think i just gotten myself in the habit of just always doing something that if i'm not i feel like i'm wasting my life away <laughs> okay and then for, I feel like my voice just like cracked. For my bronzer, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. It's been a hot minute since I've used this and I've definitely hit major pain on this. I know you guys were talking about me filming like panning videos, like project pans, but honestly with me, I don't know how I feel about that. Like I'm not the type of person that I'm just gonna like pan a, something that I don't like just to pan the product like I mean I pan things that I like um I don't know what that noise was I think it might be the cats outside my door um 
but I thought about maybe filming a video on like items that I've hit pan on just so you guys can see like what products are like my very favorites that I use all the time so I might film that if that is something that you would be interested in seeing like let me know down in the comments and if you see somebody that's commented that like thumbs up their comments um, so I know to film it or not and then I feel like my stuff's not blending good right there I'm just gonna use my wet and wild pac-man blush brush to blend some of this out around my hairline but yeah, so I'm trying to figure out when the best time is going to be for me to film. Like right now I'm filming on Sunday morning really early um, before I go to church. So I don't know. I got to just figure out my weekend routines, I guess. It's like I figured out my during the week routines, <laughs> like my work routines, but I haven't figured out my weekend routines yet. And I mean, I know like with the weekend routines can change obviously if you plan to do something spur of the moment or you know if one of your if me and one of my friends want to get together or something like that so you know it's not going to always be the same but I kind of want like a base routine where if I have nothing else like going on like that's what I'll do so I need to pluck out or tweeze a few uh, straight eyebrow hairs over here all right and I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera just because that's like just really boring just trying to figure out what I did with my brow pencil but I'm just gonna use the NYX micro brow pencil in ash brown and then to set my brows oops, to set my brows in place I'm just gonna be using my benefit gimme brow so I'm gonna do that and come back after I filled in my brows, I primed my eyelids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've really been enjoying this recently. Like, it hasn't been bothering my eyelids. It's been keeping my eyeshadows from creasing. So, I don't know. I've really been getting back into that primer. So, I'm going to finish the rest of my face after I do my eyes because I'm not for sure exactly what I'm gonna do but I think I'm gonna use some old old school eyeshadows today um, especially in last week's video last week's get ready with me you all were telling me that you didn't care if I use discontinue products or like older products so I want to use some of my Mac makeup geek like I just have a bunch of random single shadows in here like in this one I have some Mac eyeshadows makeup geek Jane which I think Jane still is around like I know for a while there like there wasn't you know Jane was kind of like a makeup brand that they had at the drugstore and then it came back and was at Kohl's and I'm not for sure if it's at Kohl's anymore it's like I don't know what happened to it but these shadows over here are from Jane and I had depotted them and I used to love those eyeshadows so much um, I have a wet and wild eyeshadow in here and then this also has a bunch of random like Makeup Geek, MAC, MUA, I think. Yeah, Makeup Academy, is that what it's called? Yeah. And then some Wet n Wild like single shadow. So we got a lot of different things in here. So let's see what I decide to do. But a lot of these MAC eyeshadows in here, I had definitely had hit, had hit pan on like back in the day. And then, of course, started moving on to all the other eyeshadow palettes. So, I mean, I definitely love my MAC eyeshadows. So, I'm going to take this shade in Soft Brown, which is a MAC single eyeshadow. And I would assume that MAC still makes that one because that was one of their like best selling eyeshadows back in the day. And I don't know if you guys watched Makeup by Tiffany D like back in, I don't know, like 2010, 2009. Like she swore by that eyeshadow. Like she used that eyeshadow like in every makeup look she would do. And it's just a really good warm mid-tone brown. Like if you've been old school, you know, beauty like if you have been there since the beginning like of beauty videos 
MAC cosmetics was like the big thing on YouTube. But of course, like over the years, it's definitely gotten overrun by a bunch of other like makeup brands and all that thing. And I'm so glad that so many of you guys feel the same way as me, that you're just sick of all the new makeup releases. Like, don't get me wrong, there are some makeup releases that come out that I do get excited about. Like, the Urban Decay Naked Honey, like, I was excited for that, and I'm glad that I got that palette in PR. I guess I need to zoom in a little bit. You guys like it when I'm a little closer for my eyeshadow tutorials. And I'm using my Morphe M441 brush to blend soft brown in my crease. And if I by chance forget to tell you a makeup brush I'm using or a color I'm using, I will put it either in the video, like annotate it, or put it down in the description box for you guys. So, but yeah, it's just like I have so much makeup that it's just sometimes ridiculous for me to buy new things when I probably have something similar in my collection and it just seems wasteful and overwhelming. So, I'm so glad that so many of you guys feel the same way as me, but I guess it's like I don't really know how to title videos to make them appealing, you know, even to you guys, because I feel like sometimes you all tell me that you don't mind if I do like these chatty get ready with me's or use older makeup, but then it's like I feel like over time you just don't watch the videos as much. I'm going to use MAC Dazzle Light, which looks like this. And I'm just going to apply that with my e.l.f. defining eye brush. Like, this used to be one of my very favorite, like, highlighting colors. It reminds me a lot of, if I can find it, oh, here it is, my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit, the highlight shade in here. That's what that shade reminds me of. It reminds me of MAC Dazzle Light. So... If you have the Milani palette and you don't have this eyeshadow, you could use that. And also, if you don't have soft brown, just any kind of matte, warm brown, kind of like if, you know, bronzer or something would work. I just miss like old school YouTube videos. I have like some random, still have some stray brow hairs in there. And I mean, I know that like times change, you can't expect things to say this to stay the same or for everyone to like that, but I miss it. I'm going to try to bring it back for you guys the best that I can, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how things go. I'm just using some more soft brown and then trying to figure out what color I want to use on the lid. And I have this color from Makeup Geek. I don't know if you all remember this called Shimmer Shimmer, but this is just such a pretty, pretty color. I know so many people were obsessed with this shade back in the day. Well, look at how pretty that is. I think I might use this on my lid. Like back when I used to do wedding makeup more, this was like my favorite eyeshadow to use for brads just because it is so pretty like look at how pretty that is and I'm just applying that with my wet n wild small concealer brush peps is that you are you crying you want to come in girlfriend I think that's either peps or Salem I'm gonna let them in if they want to come in. Is there a kitty's cat crying? Come on. What is it? Can you come in here or what? You want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Say hi. There's Salem, guys. He wanted to come say hi to you. <laughs> He's so, so big these days. Can you say hi to the peoples? Are you wanting to go outside, buddy? I feel like you just got out of the litter box because you just got litter on me. Gross. <laughs> yeah, he probably won't stay in here too long. 
I think he probably wants to go outside, but it's kind of early still, but it's 630, so it's not too early, so I might let him out. Okay, and then I'm going to put some shimmer shimmer over here. It's just crazy to think how much the YouTube like beauty videos have changed over the years <laughs> since I have been on YouTube. Like it's just crazy. And I mean, I know a lot of it has to do with just, well, it's a lot of things. Oh. I had set an alarm on my phone. But just the way that the algorithms are like written for YouTube, you know, it's like people feel like they have to make super flashy videos to get noticed. And then just in general, like how the beauty industry just keeps pumping out so much new makeup, you know, I don't know. It's just changed so much. Even for me, just being on here from 2011 to now, it's just insane to think about. Okay, I think I'm going to use this eyeshadow from Jane Cosmetics, and this is in the color Birch. That's what it looks like there. Just kind of a cool toned brown, chocolate brown color. I'm just going to apply this with my Sigma E25. Ooh, I don't need much. I don't want it to be too dark out here. Sorry, my camera just stopped filming. I don't want it to be too dark out here. I just want a little bit of a shadow. And I think I might use just a little bit of that birch on the lower lash line just to kind of deepen that up a little bit. Just give it some definition. I'm going to use a little bit of Dazzle Light in my inner corner. Now I'm going to zoom y'all back out because I'm done with the eyeshadow parts and I'm not going to do any liner today. We're just going to do some mascara, but if you wanted to do liner, you totally could. I don't know. It's like I go in my phases where I feel like I still have cat hair on my face and I hate that feeling. Yeah, I so do because I can see it. I think I finally got all the Salem hair off of my face. It's like, don't snuggle your cat while you do your makeup or you're going to have cat hair all over your face. <laughs> Salem, are you wanting to go back out, bud? See, he's wanting to go back out. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. For my blush today, I'm going to use the Clinique Cheek Pop, I think. Yeah, and Nude Pop. And the other day, this whole thing just fell right out of the pan. <laughs> So I have to be a little careful with it. I've just been trying to use this more because I just never use it. So, and I do like this color, but it's like a very, very light blush. Like it's like one of those ones where you feel like you're not really wearing blush, but it's just really natural. And I do like it. Like it's one of those blush colors that goes with any makeup look that you do. So. For my highlights, I've been getting back into using this palette here, which is from Makeup Revolution. And I've been loving this highlight here. I mean, I love all the highlights in this palette, but I've been using the nude one the most. So, and it pairs really nice with like these lighter, like white highlights. And I'm just applying that with my Real Techniques contour brush. But yeah, that highlight just gives you a really pretty glow. And it doesn't have chunky shimmer in it like 
I don't know, it's just the prettiest highlight. I recommend this palette so much. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna mist my face and then I'll do my mascara. So I'm just gonna be using my Urban Decay All Nighter. I went ahead and fixed my hair, put my clothes on for today, and I used my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara off camera and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and I was looking through my lipsticks debating on what I wanted to wear today but I think I'm gonna wear this Flower Beauty lipstick and spiced petal I really like this color and I'm first gonna line my lips with my Rimmel lip liner in Epic And then I'm just going to go in with Spiced Petal. I had so much fun getting ready with you guys this morning and just rambling and chatting about a bunch of different things. If you all have been enjoying, I know this is only my second one since I've come back, but if you enjoyed my last one and this one, my chatty get ready with me's, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep filming this style of video for you guys. And I just want to say thank you again for all of your lovely comments on my last video. It really means so much to know that you guys are on the same page as me. That, you know, you just like videos like this where we just sit down and get ready together and just chat and just, you know, get your day started. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to sit down and get ready with me today. And I hope that you have an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.